Hey, my name is Bhumani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about educational tools, tips, and technology. In today's session, I will be showing you how to embed a web page into your Canvas so your students are not leaving a Canvas platform. Again, it's not linking, it is embedding a web page into your Canvas. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here I am in my Canvas page. I'm going to click on the Pages tab under the Navigation tool and create a brand new page. And I'm going to name the page Embed a Website. Why not? So you have two ways of embedding. Sometimes the websites that you want to embed automatically give you an embed code. And all you have to do is copy the code and plug it into the HTML editor, which I'm going to be showing you in a minute. And the other way is to simply add a code, HTML code. I will leave the code in the description box below. All you have to do is change the website. And I'm going to show you how it's done as well. So first, let's go ahead and use a website that gives us the embed code. So here I am on my Desmos. I teach math. This is um, hypothesis testing calculator. All my students have to do is move back and forth and see if the test statistic is in the rejection region or no. So what I want to do is I want to pull this from this website and embed it inside my canvas so that I can test my students and I don't want my students to log into different websites. To do that, I'm going to click on the share button. As you can see, I can copy the link, but I want to go ahead and click on embed. So you might want to go ahead and look closely if the websites actually let you embed or give you the embed code. So here it's automatically giving me the embed code. All I have to do is copy it. Go back to my page here. Again, you're not pasting it in the text editor. What you have to do is scroll all the way down to the right hand side and you will see a less than greater than symbol. You're going to go ahead and click on it. That lets you toggle between HTML and rich text editor. So boom, rich text editor, and here is HTML. And all you have to do is paste your code. Easy peasy, right? And now let's go ahead, toggle back to see how it looks. And that's how my Desmos calculator has been embedded. As you can see, it's all cramped up, and that's not what I want it to look like. So I'm going to toggle back to the HTML editor. Here I am changing the width. So I'm going to change it to 1,000. And now let me see how it looks. That's perfect. So I can actually embed this into my canvas and test my students on this one, just making sure they're not looking at other websites while they are testing. So this is a good, cool way to embed your websites into your canvas. So this is done. And as you can see, when I save it, when my students log in, they don't have to log into Desmos. They can use this graphing calculator right here. Now that's done. Let's go ahead and see what if a website does not give me an embed code, how do I embed it? For that, I'm going to go back to my pages and I'm going to create a new page and I am going to say embed a website one. I don't want to name it right now. So I'm just going to say embed website, embed website one. Now here I want to go ahead and embed this particular, let me see. I want to go ahead and website I want to go ahead and embed this particular web page into my canvas. This is the registration dates and deadlines for my college. I don't want to copy everything and paste it, but instead I just want to embed it just in case something changes, it automatically updates in my canvas page as well. And as you can see, when I click on the share button, it does not give me an option to embed. It only gives me an option to copy the link. So let's go ahead and copy the link first. You can copy it from right here or click on the share and copy it or select everything, control A, control C. Once that I copied the link, I'm gonna go back to my sandbox. Again, you're not doing anything on, let me show you what. If I paste it right here, you're just pasting the link. You're not embedding it. So this is not where you wanna plug in your HTML. You wanna go ahead and toggle between the rich text editor and HTML editor. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this one. And here, I'm going to paste this HTML code. Again, I will leave this code in the description box below. All you have to do is copy this code and this is what you will do. You will go ahead and paste your website link where it says paste URL here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. And I'm going to paste my link right here. And there is the registration deadlines. Now I want to go ahead and see how it looks. I'm going to go back and toggle. And this is how it looks. As you can see, it is too long for me and it is very narrow. So I'm going to go back, toggle. And here I'm going to change the width to 1000. And I want to keep the height to 
800. And now let me go back. This looks perfect. Here, my students have everything. They can toggle, they can actually look the registration deadlines. If any changes, they can update themselves from right here. And once this is done, I'm gonna go ahead, save and publish. And this is how it looks. So that way, my students are not leaving the Canvas platform. They are inside the platform and they can access the entire website from Canvas it itself. So let's go ahead and take a look at the other one that we just created. Embed a website. This is my Desmos page. And again, my students are right here inside Canvas and still using the Desmos calculator. So this is how you embed a website using the embed code or the HTML code. I hope you enjoyed this session. I hope you learn how to embed web pages into your Canvas. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. I would like to remind you to make sure you check your web page before you publish it to your students because some web pages do not want to be embedded in your Canvas. I will leave a link in the description box below for Microsoft Teams, Technology, Canvas, and PowerPoint playlist. Do not forget to check them out. Leave a comment in the comment section below if you like to embed or if you like to link your web pages. Like always, happy teaching. Please take care of yourself and I will see you again in my next video.